To get started, we will click on the Add Repository menu option on the top left. This will bring up a wizard that will help us create a repository in DRM. We will be asked to provide a name for the repository. This is for management purposes only, as it is the description right below. Then, we will need to switch the repository type to Integration and select Open Manage Integration for VMware on the drop-down menu. On the next screen, we will be prompted for the IP address for both vCenter and Open Manage Integration for VMware. The virtual appliance IP refers to the IP address for the home IPB. On the field below, we will provide the IP address and credentials for vCenter. In this example, I will use the administrator at vSphere.local credentials. Once the credentials are provided, we will click on the Connect button. It will take a few minutes for the DRM application to connect to vCenter and OMIDB. Once it has completed, it will provide a list of servers that were detected. These servers are coming from the Open Managed Integration for VMware inventory process. Once we click on Finish, the repository is then added into our list of repositories. In order to continue this process, we'll need to click on the Export option on the top right. In this example, my plugins were out of date. I will go ahead and update the plugins. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will skip over that process. The next step is to choose a location. If you want to specify a different location, you can click on the Browse button. Otherwise, you can click on Export. The export process will take several minutes to complete. The reason for this is that the updates need to be downloaded from our website and then saved into the location that we specified. I will do a quick spot check that that location that I specified for my export is a safe share. If you're not familiar with creating a Windows safe share, you can create one by right-clicking on the folder that you want to share, select properties, Click on the Sharing tab and then on Advanced Sharing. You will then need to provide a share name and the permissions for the share. For now, we will go back to the Jobs queue in the old Repository Manager and check on the status of our job. Once a job completes in the old Repository Manager, we can check on the folder that we save the downloads to and then copy the name for the XML catalog file. In most cases, the catalog file will be the same name as the repository name with the version number and then the extension .xml. This is the file that we will need to provide to Open Managed Integration for VMware so that you can see the updates that are available for those systems. Inside vCenter, we'll need to click on Menu and select the Dell Open Managed Integration menu option. This will take us into the OMIVP interface inside vCenter. Once it finishes loading, we'll need to click on Compliance and Deployment, Profiles, and Repository Profile. The option given there will be to create a new repository. In the Repository Profile wizard, we will be asked to provide a profile name and a profile description for the repository profile. This is independent of the RM and it's only visible inside the OMIDB plugin. The name and description is a matter of preference. The last step in this process is to specify the zip share location that we save the updates to. If you remember correctly, in Dell Repository Manager, we exported that job into one of our zip shares. We'll need to provide the name of the zip share along with the catalog.xml file name. In order for OMIAB to connect to the SIF share, we will need to provide it the username and the password for that location. In my example, that SIF share is sitting inside a Windows VM. Hence, I provided the credentials for Windows. Before you proceed, you'll have to click on Begin Test to verify connectivity and we provided a summary. This concludes the integration from DRM into OMIBB. Thank you for watching.